Today's nugget, we talk about the colon. Dr. Norman Walker's Colon Health, the key to a vibrant life. The elimination of undigested food and other waste products is equally as important as the proper digestion and assimilation of food. Few of us realize that failure to effectively eliminate waste products from the body causes so much fermentation and putrefaction in the large intestine and colon that the neglected accumulation of such waste can and frequently does result in a lingering demise, slow death. There are foods whose ultimate function is to cleanse and remove used up cells and tissues and pilot this waste to the colon for evacuation. That is fiber, composed of roughage and only found in raw foods. When this fiber passes through the intestines, it becomes, figuratively speaking, highly magnetized and in this condition is very helpful in its various functions. The colon depends on fiber for its intestinal broom. When demagnetized food passes through the body, these foods leave a coating on the inner walls of the colon like plaster on a wall. In the course of time, this coating may gradually increase its thickness until there is only a small hole through the center and the matter so evacuated may contain much undigested food from which the body derives little or no benefit. The very best of diets can be no better than the very worst if the sewage system of the body, the colon, is clogged with a collection of waste and corruption. So, I find a great visual in how Halloley Acres describes this. We all practice proper hygiene. We shower or bathe every day, wash our hair, launder our clothes. After all, cleanliness is next to godliness, as the saying goes. That all makes for a pretty picture on the outside, but what's going on inside? Deep down within the winding, twisting intestine known as the colon, a dark, dirty, and dismal picture emerges. A world of toxic waste buildup, gnawing parasites, intestinal pollution. Yes, the grime of mucus, undigested fatty foods, chemicals from processed foods, and simply breathing dirty air and drinking pure and pure water takes its toll. Over time, this buildup affects the function of every cell and organ in the body. Without proper elimination, the waste and toxins poison the blood, the lymphatic system, the nervous system, and brain. They clog the heart, vascular system, lungs, and sinuses. Because of this, for the first two to three months on a clean eating program, and then maybe once or twice a year for maintenance, the Hallelujah Diet recommends using a colon cleansing product, such as their Fiber Cleanse, which is a balanced blend of 28 herbs in a psyllium and flaxseed base to help you cleanse the colon, restore optimal bowel function, and ensure timely elimination of these toxins from the body, including elimination of parasites, which you will have if you're eating meat. So after that, on an ongoing basis, ensure you're getting at least a quarter cup of ground flaxseed a day for optimal bowel maintenance. How I get my daily ground flaxseed is to put it in my lunchtime smoothie, or you can sprinkle it over your salads or meals, but let me give you an idea for using it as a healthy snack. How about putting a cored apple into a blender and then adding a little water, voila, you have applesauce. Now you have your ground up flaxseed and we'll just put one into the other. Stir it up. Goes into a little bit of a paste. And if your applesauce is, is not uh, with a sweet apple and a little honey if you like, this is what I like to do, just add some raisins and top it off with some cinnamon. And this is what a lot of people on the Hallelujah diet like to call their raw breakfast. Enjoy.